What were you doing when this happened Saturday night? I was watching a uh, pedestrian Dwayne Johnson movie with my daughter, so we kind of purposely missed the whole thing, but incredible video and pictures from the lightning storm Saturday night. The National Weather Service says more than 2,000 lightning strikes hit our area in a five-hour span. So thousands of people lost power. Lightning struck a giant spruce tree at Green Lake, splitting it right down the middle. And Orcas Island Fire and Rescue says a lightning strike caused this small wildland fire just after midnight Saturday night. They say it was about 10 feet by 10 feet near Eagle Lake on the east side of the island there. And because it was in a hard to reach area, firefighters had to walk to the scene to put it out. And then there was, of course, the big weather delay at Husky Stadium. The Huskies and Cal had to slow it down for about two hours until the storm passed. Rich Marriott was one of the fans caught in the downpour. Well, I was at the Husky game on Saturday night when those thunderstorms rolled through. And as soon as this weather advisory was uh, up on the message board and announced to the crowd, people started moving out of the stands. We were suddenly deserted by ourselves. And then the torrential rains came down and we spent two hours with displays of lightning like this looking out across Husky Stadium. You see the people that uh, stay, were able to stay were the ones who were under cover. There's a video that a friend of mine took of Rich Pelman sitting next to me. Shows pretty much what was going on for about two and a half hours with these big rolls of thunder and lightning. And cheers from the crowds as those things went through that two and a half hours late. We finally got back underway with the game at 1030 in the evening, though it did turn out there was probably more action in the sky than on the field on Saturday night.